I can eat and my name is Ms. Edith Vale. This is me best mate in the entire world, Mrs. Maureen McGillicuddy. Say hello, Maureen. <laughs> no, you've got to take the mask off, love. You've got to take the mask off. Yes. No, they take it off and then they'll be able to hear you. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, oh, that's much better. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I couldn't breathe. Did they not? I couldn't breathe. Uh, oh, that's so much better. Hi, oh, Edith. Hi, it's so much that's better cool. like that, love. Would God throw a sheet over the Mona Lisa? No. <laughs> I love seeing your whole face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just in the bedroom here. There's a, sorry, there's a bit of glare coming off Princess Diana there, although there always was, wasn't there? That's right, yeah. Unfortunately for her, she learned that the hard way, didn't she? Uh, hello, kiddies, and uh, welcome. My name's uh, Edith, as I said, this is Maureen McGillicuddy, and we're doing these little videos for you, and we thought we'd just come in and reach into your personal lives through the advent of social media, which is absolutely wonderful. That's right. Uh, we do a podcast called Granny Bingo Wireless, and uh, we thought we'd do a little segment from the podcast in a visual format for you. It's called Agony Grange, where we get people to write in and uh, complain, really, and we try and help them out a bit. It's, it's, uh, they would have had it back in the day in the Women's Day or Women's Weekly. And uh, there was a lot of whinging with the Women's Monthly as well. A lot of complaining. And uh, we used to always write letters back to the editors. People would write theirs in, and the agony aunt was always responding to it. And we thought she did a terrible job. So uh, we've gone about doing our own. We've got a letter. I've had, well, it's, uh, uh, he, he, uh, she, he, email. Do you want me to read it? Someone's written yes, it. Yes, please, it. read oh, it. All right, hang on. Uh, right. Uh, dear Edith and Maureen, that's us. Uh, my husband is an essential worker. He has had to continue to go to work throughout the pandemic, mm. uh, leaving me to look after our three primary school aged kids. Between being a mum, a teacher and a personal chef and a cleaner to these kids, tell me about it, preaching to the choir there, look, I'm struggling to find any time for myself. I can't tell you what I would give for a night on the couch with a glass of wine and some Netflix. As mothers, grandmothers and great-grandmothers, do you have any parenting tips in this difficult time? That's from Helen in Moorabbin via Instagram. She sent us an email on Instagram. Mm, good one, uh, Helen. Great questions. I think it uh, I, 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 sounds like you're busy. What do you, Edith? You are you right? Have you got have you got suggestions or something? I'm sorry. I'm 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 sick to death of these modern mothers whinging, complaining. Oh, I'm a teacher. I'm a cleaner. I'm a personal chef. You know what? That's on you, love. That's on you for having children when you're not prepared. You sound to me like an incredibly unfit mother, if I'm completely honest. Uh, here you are longing for a wine on the couch with some Netflix. It sounds like a, perhaps a little bit of a, you know, a drinking mother. And really that's quite irresponsible of you. In fact, I, I, I would hazard a guess that your husband is putting up his hand for extra shifts wherever he is working as an essential worker because he doesn't want to be around a wine-soaked wife like yourself. These poor kiddies, in fact, I have a, a, a right mind to write to Child Protective Services and give them your address. And we've got that here, Helen and Moorabbin, uh, and, and tell them exactly uh, what you're up to and, and have you reported and have those children taken off you, Helen, because uh, quite frankly, uh, you don't sound like uh, the kind of person that should be looking after children. You're a goner, Helen. Once Edith gets on you, she'll call you the don't. terrorist hotline on you yeah. and you'll be gone. See ya. You know, the other piece of thing that I picked up from Helen's letter, uh, Edith, was uh, I'd love a couch of, uh, on the night on the couch with a glass of wine and some Netflix. Now I know what Netflix is. I, is I we don't have it at the home, but Netflix, Edith, I don't want to upset you, but Netflix is porn. Right. Online porn. Right, mm. right. It's terribly sad. This woman is addicted to alcohol and pornography, alcohol and she's raising and children. That's and she's got right. children. That's Daniel Andrews. That's Daniel Andrews. Mm. Shall we see if Caroline has any, any advice? Ooh. Hang on. We'll cross to the Kaz cam and see if Caroline has any advice. Ah, Caroline. what do you mean, Kaz? 
What do you think, Cash? Yes. Oh, right. Well, fascinating. Yes. Caroline's coming to us live from the shed at the back. Well, uh, thank you for writing in, Helen. We hope that that's been helpful for you. Um, of course, if you do want to write in, kiddies, you can write to us on our social media. And Helen's done it via Instagram. It's at Granny Bingo on Instagram. And uh, you can listen to the Granny Bingo Wireless podcast wherever you get your podcasts from. Mwah.